everyone this is PhD natural me and welcome back to my channel I made mushroom pizza so here are all the ingredients that I use the Italian four cheese instead of just plain mozzarella and this New York classic pizza sauce I got it because it said New York and it was only three carbs per quarter of a cup so what I did first wiped off the mushroom I don't like to run water on my mushrooms so I wiped it off then I cut the little stem out the middle and I scraped off the fins I call them fins <laughs> but I, I didn't want that in my pizza because it tends to make it a little mushy when I've used it or when I when I grill it all it's okay but I wasn't sure how this was going to work and yes I put it on my Traeger grill I'm really loving that thing if you are interested in getting a grill and you don't have one it works really well but anyway here I scraped out all the insides and I cut the stem down a little bit more so that it would be even And you can use the mushrooms in a soup or stew or something like that if you want. I did not. I didn't do anything. What I did next was just put a little olive oil on the bottom of the, the tin that I have there because I didn't want it to stick. There are no carbs in olive oil. I don't know why I stuck that up there. But, you know, use any olive oil you want. This was on sale. And here you see me trying to screw off a cap that I'm supposed to pop off. <laughs> so, sorry about that. So I just took a little bit of it, poured it on the bottom, and just kind of wiped around a little bit. And if you really want some extra olive oil on your mushroom, you can pour it on the inside of here. I just poked a few holes to make sure it turned out. I mean, it was cooking all the way through. I have actually never used the grill myself, so this is exciting. Usually my husband does all of the grilling. Here's this New York Classic Pizza Sauce, and it only has 3 grams of carbohydrates per quarter of a cup. And it really was not bad. I, I loved it. I was struggling trying to get the plastic off, so I stepped back. <laughs> and uh, opened well opened it up there okay so just poured a quarter of a cup that actually was a perfect amount of sauce for the mushroom so I just spread this around here you'll see me in a second doing that dun 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 mm-hmm Come on back, Zelda. Come on, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> so I spread that around. Thinking after the fact what I would have done differently, I might have added more cheese. Oh, and I didn't use any salt. Usually I will salt my mushrooms. Like if I'm just grilling it inside, I'll put a little bit of salt or something in it. I didn't. I just actually put the pizza sauce. And the pizza sauce was fine. The mushroom just needed a little bit more seasoning. Or maybe some... No, I don't like seasoned salt. Just plain old salt. Here I think I used two quarter of a cup. So a half a cup of cheese. Spread that around. I said, hmm, not enough. I need it more. <laughs> okay. Going back for the second cup, second quarter cup. And that was actually, that was good. I could have added maybe one, another, not a whole quarter of a cup actually. This was pretty good. And it melts down quickly. Traeger grill, I don't know if anybody has one, it uses wood pellets and it runs off of electric and you think, oh, that may not be cool, 
oh my gosh, it was it, it is so cool. Added some Italian seasoning. You can add any seasoning that you like. Got some pepperoni here, and there are no carbs. There are some pepperoni that have carbs in it, so make sure that you are always looking at your labels. Be a label reader. Get them bifocals out. No, actually, I have the cheap dollar store glasses on right now. I think my voice sounds a little scratchy because I'm recording this early in the morning. I did the pizza yesterday. I also did a cauliflower pizza and it was really good. I did it deep dish style in uh, a tin like that. And I was shocked. I didn't say anything to my son and he ate it. And he went back and had another serving. So that means it was pretty good. And he doesn't like plain cauliflower. So I thought that was great. So here I was sealing up the bag. But you'll see me come back and show you. I added some extra cheese. See now here the olive oil. I put it on the top. But I think next time I'm going to put it on the bottom. Okay here is the crust for the cauliflower pizza and the cheese I added to the top of my little pizza. Here is it almost done in the tin and here it's done completely with pork rinds. It was good. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Keep eating keto. Bye bye.